Hi, I'm Jody Mathers, and I'm head of SEND Social Care Services for the Royal Borough of Greenwich. Hi, I'm Dr. Judith Cussey. I'm an educational and child psychologist. An autistic young person might experience difficulties with all the challenges mentioned in previous videos, and these difficulties might intensify during adolescence because their life becomes more complicated and harder to predict or understand. The extent of support which an autistic young person may require will always vary across different situations. Often, difficulties are encountered with understanding the subtleties of social situations. With adolescents comes a level of pressure to fit in, and autistic young people might not understand the impact of their words or actions on others, so making it hard to fit in. They might be becoming increasingly aware of the differences between them and their peers in terms of how they understand the world. This might result in them feeling upset or frustrated. They might experience difficulties with recognizing and understanding emotions that they experience. In this instance, they may require support to take actions that might help if they experience negative emotions, such as sadness, anxiety, or anger. Adolescence can be challenging for anyone because there are more unwritten rules to follow. An autistic young person might find it hard to adapt to how someone should act in different situations, such as dating or interviewing for college or at work. Rules on how to behave are unclear because they vary based on the situation and your relationship with the person you're interacting with. Previously established relationships also change and become more complex. For example, friendships are more dependent on back and forth interaction than on nonverbal games in the playground. Some fears or special interests can grow over time and become disabling or limiting. And in those instances, it may result in the young person demonstrating non-adaptive behaviors, such as spending hours gaming or refusing to leave their room. They find it difficult to read or understand the intentions of others and this can mean that they are vulnerable in social situations. Vulnerability is also linked with the previous point about being aware of differences and feeling a pressure to fit in. Difficulties with organizing and planning across a range of different contexts might mean that they're not as independent as their peers. An autistic young person might find it difficult to read the implied social constructs around puberty and adolescence. They may express personal information about themselves or questions in ways that could leave them vulnerable to abuse or bullying. An example may be a young person sharing in front of a group of peers physical changes to their body and asking if anyone else has experienced that. It might be helpful to explore whether the young person has a good understanding of their diagnosis, and if not, think about how to help them develop this understanding. Consider exploring whether the young person needs support in understanding how they experience the world differently from people who are neurotypical. Social stories or comic strips can help to develop a young person's understanding of different social situations. Zones of regulation may be a helpful strategy to help the young person recognise their body's response. It is important to remember for zones of regulation that it's not about keeping calm necessarily, but more about having the right response for the situation as well as support with regulation. For example, we all get angry sometimes and usually justifiably, and the young person could benefit from recognising what situations this would be appropriate and what to do next. Encourage movement and mindfulness, especially in adolescence. It's important for those working with an autistic young person to adapt their communication appropriately. For example, if they're speaking with a social worker that knows they have ASD, would it be appropriate to expect them not to use metaphors? It might be helpful to explore whether young people need support with planning their day, for example, with the help of visual planners, to-do lists or schedules. These can be linked to apps on their phone to promote independence, have explicit communication around the power and changes in their bodies that puberty and adolescence can bring, have discussions about how to keep their feelings and bodies safe, support the young person to talk about the changes puberty brings to their body in a way that feels comfortable, have explicit discussions around relationships and trusted adults, including who they are in the family or mentor, Ensuring the young person with ASD knows who they can go to safely with these questions. 
As the young person moves into adolescence, the shift should be more towards supporting them with their independence where possible. Consider mapping out the support network with the young person. For example, a visual map of the people around the young person, who they can speak with, or a list of people linked to topics. Some young people like to know how to ask for support. For example, texting their parent that they want to speak about a particular topic. Explore with the young person if they would like to meet other people with ASD. For example, other people with ASD who share their interests. Explore with the young person what they find helpful, not helpful when meeting with new people and to support them to share this with people they meet if they think it would be helpful. Working directly with parents and local partnership services, we're creating a series of videos to help and advise families who have an autistic child. In this series, we'll cover everything from how to speak with young people to dealing with everyday situations like dinner time or traveling. We'll give you tips and tricks that parents and professionals have learned through their own experiences and also teach you a little bit about what autism may mean for your child or young person. A very special thank you goes to the Greenwich Parent Care Participation Forum, who were instrumental in co-producing this series alongside professional services.